bringing metal to the masses on slotradio.com. This is Onslaught Radio. I'm Natalie, and this evening I'm backstage at the O2 Academy in Islington, and I'm talking to Alex from the band Whitechapel. Hi, Alex. How's it going? Pretty good. No complaints. And obviously, you guys have been touring alongside the Acacia Strain, um, and this is your last, I believe it's the last UK date this evening? Uh, we have one in Portsmouth tomorrow. Okay, so you've done a couple of dates in Europe. How's it all been going so far? It's been great. Uh, you know, the shows have been packed, and, um, you know, it's definitely been like a smaller, like more intimate type tour, and, you know, we've been having a blast, and all the kids are coming out and having fun, so it's uh, definitely been really good. And what can your London fans expect from the uh, set this evening? Uh, it, you know, it's going to be really killer. It's going to be a mix of uh, all of our albums, Somatic Defilement, This Is Exile, A New Era of Corruption. So, um, you know, I think there's going to be a little bit of something for everybody. And speaking of the latest album, how's it been received by your fans so far? Uh, I think it's been doing really well. I mean, um, you know, I feel like we kind of developed a sound on This Is Exile and uh, on A New Era of Corruption, we kind of expanded on that sound. So, um, you know, it's definitely... Um, been something that's been received really well and we've got a question from one of our listeners they asked where the name for the latest album came from um well honestly it came from uh, a line in uh the song possession on this is exile it's uh man will inspire the works of a new era of corruption and um we just thought it would be a good way to kind of bring back This Is Exile and, you know, just to kind of tie, you know, our albums together. And, you know, I don't know. And plus, it just, on its own, it just kind of stands for itself. You know, it's just like a very solid title name. It's like, This Is a New Era. You know, it's like, I don't know. I thought it was really cool when we thought of it. And obviously, you're coming to the end of the UK and Europe dates. What are you guys planning for afterwards? Uh, well, when we go home, we're going to have like a month and a half off, so that's going to be really good. We've been hitting it pretty hard. Before this, we did the U.S. version of the Welcome to Hell tour, and it was like six weeks long. And then we only had ten days off, and then we came over here. So, uh, you know, we've definitely been touring really hard for the past couple months. And uh, so it'll be good to, you know, go home and spend time with friends and family and stuff. And then um, this summer, we're going to be doing uh, the U.S. Uh, summer slaughter tour so that'll be really cool to you know be on tour with our friends black dolly murderer and oceano and stuff like that again so and i understand like fairly recently you've had the addition of ben on drums what would you say that that's brought to the latest album um well he he actually didn't record a new era of corruption but um as far as the live set goes uh it's it's been amazing uh you know he's he sent us tryout videos and we were like wow this kid's killer like we're gonna have to fly him out and try him out and stuff so we flew him down and i told him to learn a bunch of songs and he sat down and could play every single one perfectly without us even having to tell him how to play them so like you know he's really awesome on drums and i feel like he's definitely like kind of rejuvenated our live show and really brought back you know uh, i guess early white chapel you know so it's definitely been really cool Obviously, you guys have been really busy this year and a little bit of last year since releasing the album. Is there any chance of perhaps an album in the pipeline or are you guys just touring around a little bit for a while? Uh, we'll probably put out an album um, summer of next year. Uh, you know, we've been writing a little bit here and there, but nothing. we haven't really, you know, hit the riffs very hard. Um, you know, just a couple of riffs here and there, no like solid songs or anything like that, so... And I understand you did a video for the track Breeding Violence. How was that for you guys? Uh, it was really cool. Um, you know, the first uh, video we did off of A New Era was um, The Darkest Day of Man. And then we did uh, a video for Breeding Violence, which we shot uh, live at... Um, in nashville tennessee at like a, a a show we just put on a little show had uh, some local support and then we just came out and um we played breeding violence probably like three or four times so that we made sure we got all the shots that we needed and then we just like gave the crowd like you know a little smaller uh like set as like a thank you for coming out for the video and stuff so it was it was really fun and were you happy with the result you got yeah, yeah, it was great. It was, uh, you know, it was a really killer video. It's uh, very, like, crisp and clear, and, you know, I, I like it a lot. And is there any possibility of any European or UK festivals later on this year? I know you're kind of busy, but any chance of slotting one in somewhere? Uh, no, we won't be doing festivals this year, sadly, but um, I can probably almost guarantee that we'll be coming back for festivals in 2012, so... So something for us all to look forward to. Yep, definitely. <laughs> and what would you say has been a highlight for the band over the past couple of years since you've formed? Um, 
I mean, honestly, I, the coolest thing that's ever happened to us as a band, I think, is uh, on A New Era of Corruption, um, on the Billboard 200, which is, you know, like the charts in the U.S. for CDs and stuff. We charted number 43, which, you know, to be in the top 50 for us is, you know, insane, you know, because, well, number one, we're a death metal band, and number two, we come from Knoxville, Tennessee, so it's like, you know... You know, you rarely he hear of, you know, um, bands of such an extreme nature, like, breaking into, like, the top 50 of the billboards. So, you know, we were really excited when we uh, heard that that had happened. Awesome. And what is the band yet to achieve that you guys kind of want to get to? Is there any sort of plan to hit some point? Well, you know, the band is a constant process, and, you know, we're always continually growing. I definitely don't feel like we've hit our plateau yet. I feel like, you know, we're definitely still on the way up. And um, so, you know, it's definitely kind of hard to say where the band's going to be, but, um, you know, there's definitely still a lot of things that we want to do as a band, and, uh, you know, uh, we definitely, you know, obviously their current state is, you know, kind of iffy, but uh, we always wanted to play Japan. We want to go play Japan. We want to play Hawaii. And, uh, you know, we want to, just like every other metal band in the world, we want to tour with Slipknot and, you know, do some, like, really big, like, you know, arena-type tours and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully one day we'll get to do all that stuff. Obviously, you mentioned about possibly touring Japan one day as being one of your kind of achievements that you want to do. Is there anywhere else that you haven't toured yet that you'd like to? Uh, well, like I had mentioned, Hawaii, but that's not really a tour. You just kind of play a show and then leave. But, um... I mean, other than that, I mean, honestly, we've kind of hit the places that, you know, I feel as a band that we should, you know, we could, we could probably go to like Russia or something like that. But, you know, that's definitely all kind of up in the air and in the future. Awesome. And finally, if you were to give any advice to any unsigned bands that are up and coming in the metal scene at the moment, what kind of advice would you give to them? Um, I guess I could say just you, you have to put 110% into it. You can't, you know, half-ass it. You've got to you know put everything you have into the band because otherwise if you don't you know there's another band out there that is doing that and they're gonna surpass you you know so you've got to um always be working hard always trying to get to the next level awesome well thank you very much for talking to onslaught radio yep. thank you <laughs>